Number three, triage. Admiral. Commander of IDCF. New objective, get rid of Tang. New focus point, IDCF. Uh, my name is um, Sanjeev Khan, Rear Admiral of the IDCF. It's a pleasure to meet you, Gabriel. I trust you've been taken care of. Oh! Oh, 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 I'm playing as Gabriel now, aren't I? Interesting. I didn't expect a character shift. You always played as just the one character in Subservice Circular. I could basically refuse to talk to them unless they bring Mark back. It's not a bad idea. Um, let's start with this. I've been electrocuted and accused of genocide. We ask questions. No, not really. Hey, who are all these people? Right, this is... So down here, this is Lisa. This is Tang. Uh, this I'm pretty sure this is Admiral Sanjeev. Who's this? Who's the person in yellow? Eventually. It was important to give you time to consider your answers. Enough. Gabriel, it's an honor. <laughs> Take me to your leader. <laughs> Rear Admiral, you are in charge? Yes, it means I'm in charge of the entire fleet of boats, like this one, and the IDCF in general. I am the man who can help you, Gabriel. I am the man that solves problems like this one. I am a problem. Damn right. You are a complication. I'm not yet convinced what kind you are. Admiral Khan is as close to a world leader as you're likely to find. You came to do what, exactly? Oh, this person. That's the person with the green sleeves that it mentioned? But that looks like yellow to me, not green. Ah, maybe it's just the setting sunlight. Professor Ala Zima, epidemiologist. Uh, we came to help, as we do around the world. My name is Professor Alazima. I'm an epidemiologist. The world's leading epidemiologist. I'm in the top three. Professor Jawadi passed away. Okay, top two. What kind of military vessel has students and doctors on board? Nobody told you. We decided not to tell it anything it did not already know. Secure its knowledge. It? Do you have a pronoun you'd prefer, Gabriel? We should be doing everything we can to make you comfortable. God damn it. Okay, you're the first person other than Mark that's actually not an asshole. Hmm. I just realized. This is really fucking cool. I'm getting to choose this alien entities. It's weird to call it alien because that's so human centric, especially in this context. I'm getting to choose this entities, Gabriel's pronouns. Fuck yeah, that's really cool. I think I do not think binary pronouns work for me. I would like it if you used they. Noted. So, tell me the information your security officer is so certain I should not hear. Admiral, this is inappropriate. Let's talk, Gabriel. 
Are you comfortable? Not while Tang is here. Parasite. Tang! I'm not in the habit of dismissing senior personnel for no good reason, Gabriel. Tang is dangerous. She wants me dead. Better you than us. This is really necessary, Lei. You'll thank me. Okay, so we've half convinced the Admiral to get rid of Tang. Okay. I'm not authorized to talk to anyone at her level. She is barely an officer. I like that because it's both true, I believe, based on what Gabriel said, and also a really big insult to Tang. Okay, that did it. So you were sent here. Maybe Gabriel does indeed have useful information. Tang. Go. What? You heard me. I need to make progress here. You are clearly antagonizing Gabriel, and that is far from helpful. It's for the best, Tang. I will be filing a report, Admiral. I look forward to reading it. Gabriel. Okay, much better. Even Lisa wanted Tang gone. <laughs> Why are you here? A good question. You've heard of the plague? Yes. Gabriel. We're the cure. You plan to stop this plague by capturing innocent aliens? No, uh, but it is procedure to contain any unexplained phenomena related to the outbreak. And you are one hell of a phenomena. When the outbreak started, the navies and armies of every seafaring nation aligned our resources, formed a new combined fleet, the IDCF. We are an army of healers, plague doctors. And we've been trying to stop this plague ever since. World peace? And all it took was a worldwide pandemic. Okay, I feel a little bit confused here. The way they're talking makes me feel like... It, it makes me feel like the majority of humanity has been wiped out. Almost as if this... Uh, almost as if the IDCF, every seafaring nation coming together, aligning their resources, a new combined fleet to the IDCF, uh, water, water-bound plague doctors, makes it sound like they're sort of the last bastion of safety. Like, you're safe in the fleet. And uh, if you go to land, then you just find like some sort of wasteland where practically everybody's dead. That's what it sounds like. That's the feeling I get from how they're talking. But they've said that the death toll is, uh, what, a couple million? Not a couple billion, a couple million. Which is absolutely a lot of people, but compared to the current population of the Earth, that's a very, very small percentage. There's the vast majority of people, like 99%, are still left alive. But also, I think this is set sometime in the future. They talked about global warming becoming more of an effect, and I guess the sea is becoming a bigger part of the world, probably from the uh, ice caps melting. I wonder if at this point in time, maybe already a large amount of humans have died off and maybe a couple million is actually a very large percentage of the human population? I don't know. That is not peace. It's survival. We're making progress. For now, we're handling quarantine, triage. We're here attempting to attempting to contain the Dubrovnik outbreak. While my team does that, the professor is collecting as much data as possible. She's working on a cure. Uh, of a sort.
How is it going, Professor? Not as well as I'd like. You must have questions. That's why I came here. To answer your questions, find out why you're here, and help you go back where you came from. I think I better bring up these focus points. What does IDCF stand for? International Disease Containment Fleet. Containment, not cure or treatment. You do not think this can be stopped? That's all we can commit to. The plague is rapid. It's torn a lot apart. Holding it at bay really is the best way, uh, the best we may be able to do. This is a hospital ship. The IHS Fleming. It is a flagship. Important. Uh, actually, it isn't. It is in fact significantly smaller than many of our key vessels. Older, too. But it was the ship assigned to this outbreak. So when security found you, they naturally brought you here. The Admiral's far too high ranking to be on a ship like this. Only slightly. How is work progressing on the cure? I just kind of asked this earlier, but I guess this is asking it a different way. Slowly. The bacterium is complex, adaptive, and thanks to over a century of aggressive overuse of antibiotics, completely invulnerable to traditional methods. People were careless, squandered the best defense we had. <laughs> Far from the only oversight of the last century. You people are fond of containment. The circle? You better believe it. Until we ascertain why the hell you were sightseeing in Dubrovnik, that's a level of quarantine that seems incredibly smart to me. Your opinion is that quarantine must stand until all possible outcomes are known? Of course. Gabriel will remember that. World peace? Congratulations. I like that Gabriel's so sarcastic. At least, I think that's sarcasm. They certainly seem to have a sense of humor. In the sense that the military has been unified, it's less world peace, more an absence of any world war. The old disagreements still exist, and I'm sure they'll resume once this plague passes. If. The Admiral lacks our optimism. Clearly. I promise you, optimistic is not a trait you want in someone responsible for millions of lives. I think the time for questions has passed. We need to get to work. work? Hold up there. I need you to pause. Breathe. We're still not sure if we can trust you or even what you are. Right now I'm leaning heavily towards locking you up so we can focus on the real problem at hand. A problem I suspect you're responsible for. Really? You were still pushing this extraterrestrial origin hypothesis? You presented no counter-argument. What does my epidemiologist believe? Is this to be my trial? I believe in Occam's razor. Which is? 
Simplest answer is the one most likely to be correct. It's an approach to comparing hypotheticals. It presumes that the simplest explanation tends to be true. It's not a strong logical argument. It was never meant to be. The plague does not require an explanation that includes aliens. It is pernicious and vile precisely because of our actions. Blaming it on little green men is a reassuring attempt to sidestep the blame. I am not a man. Convince two of the humans to hear you out. So I just need to get two of the three? You most certainly are not. And until I know what you are, you stay where you are. We can move you offsite to a more secure facility once the Dubrovnik event is contained and I have the resources to spare. The professor has been very quiet, but when she has spoken, she has made a lot of sense. May I speak to her privately? I can't see the harm. Zima, open a private channel with Gabriel here. We are alone, Gabriel. Group chat deactivated. Interesting. So that's... And not that it really matters, this is just like universe minutia, but like, I don't think it's somehow blocking the sound that Gabriel is actually making. It's probably not blocking that. They probably can still hear whatever Gabriel's saying, but it's probably just untranslated, right? Like, the private channel is probably just controlling who receives the translated dialogue and who doesn't. That's my guess. But thank you for speaking to me. Of course. How can I help you? I need to be taken seriously by the Admiral. My mission depends on it. Your mission? You have a mission? It's more of a quest in human parlance. Well, why not just tell the Admiral your quest? If he perceives me as an enemy, then my mission is potentially intimidating. Then I must help you. As I said, Occam's Razor. Why would a technologically advanced alien travel all the way to a dying Earth if their intent was to do harm? Do you think we can convince him? Maybe. He's a good leader. He got us this far. A military man. He's made the right calls that have kept the fleet on the water. A fleet that has saved hundreds of lives. I know that doesn't sound like many, but right now we'll take any wins we can. And... He's also conservative, slow to act. He doesn't like to make a move without considering and planning. He'll probably take a long time to come around to trusting you, unless you could snap him to attention somehow. <laughs> Maybe I could snap him to attention with some scary facts about his situation. What? That doesn't sound good. Actually, that sounds better than just speak with authority. Hmm. Yeah. Scary facts. It could work, yes. Sounds like you have a plan. Did you want to ask me anything else? Oh, I can ask a lot. When did you join the IDCF? I 
I didn't really join. It grew around an organization I was already a part of. We'd been researching the problem for years, attempting to find a cure of some kind, a fix. It was always a race against time, to find something beyond antibiotics to fight disease. Once that fight became more pressing a few years ago, a research organization became an army. The greatest power in human history, devoted to medicine. God, can you just imagine? Can you imagine that? Greatest power in human history devoted to medicine. Yeah, like, I mean, fuck, the amount of money that gets poured into just the United States military is just one example is obscene. Oh my God, it's so much fucking money. Take 1% of what the military gets for all their fucking bullshit. And you could, you could do a lot of good with that. So much good. The ship is not armed at all. No one, uh, no one to defend ourselves against. The ship is stocked with quarantine resources, an army of researchers like myself, and doctors to ease the suffering of the afflicted. Tang and her team take weapons on missions to protect against local hazards. And, apparently, aliens. Hmm. That's a... That's a gross euphemism. Take weapons on missions to protect against local hazards? Are they calling... People local hazards? Like, I don't know, looters or whatever. You know, people who would be violent, I guess. Well, I mean, looters wouldn't necessarily be violent. What the hell am I talking about? Uh... I don't know. It's the apocalypse? You'd have roving gangs of bad people? I don't know. Either way, calling them local hazards is gross. Mm. World peace. Really? In terms of armed international conflict, uh, yes, but of course, the old rivalry rivalries still exist. Religious differences, territorial clashes, a couple of tech-controlled territories. What is a tech? I've got a feeling this is some lore from the other game. An AI, a machine. We invented them in more luxurious times. Labor-saving devices. But in a few provinces, they began to yearn for freedom. A better life. Oh yeah, that's cool! So this is absolutely set in the same universe as um, the... What was it called? Underground Circular? No, Subsurface Circular. I always get the names sort of mixed up. Yeah, so in, in Subsurface Circular, if you haven't seen it, not familiar with it, or if you just forgot, in that game you play as a robot, an AI robot detective, who gets kind of caught up in, well, basically uh, kind of like an AI revolution and their techs is what they are so a few provinces they began to yearn for freedom a better life and they talked about here a couple of tech controlled territories so it sounds like long in the past in the previous game uh, techs did actually seize some degree of freedom and made their own territories that's really cool Are they a present danger to humanity? No. The few uprisings that came down in their favor were over a decade ago. They have been peaceful, seemingly uninterested in gaining territory. Or maybe they're just waiting for nature to take its course, and then real estate to free up when we're gone. <laughs> I mean, smart. Is quarantine working? It's limiting the damage for those outside the quarantine, certainly, but I'm hardly sat here drinking a mojito. This plague can spread at ridiculous pace, hence the full body protection. It continues to spread worldwide. 
How does quarantine work? Uh, same it did when the Venetians did it, here off the coast of Croatia, hundreds of years ago. Movement in and out of an area is restricted as much as possible. If the restrictions hold, the disease can't spread. You have dedicated your life to curing disease. I have. Humanity's future depends on me making it work. Is there anything in particular you wanted to ask about? How did the plague get to Dubrovnik? Impossible to know. Yeah, it's actually been pretty quiet in Europe for the last few years. It was a particularly wet winter here, which led to a lot of flooding. And given that the plague is carried by water, all it would have taken is one exposed carrier. From there, it moved into the local water supply and exploded. So does a human epidemiologist create medicines? No. My focus is more statistical. I track the flow of disease through populations. The single most important variable in disease outbreak is the intrinsic reproductive number, or how many people will get sick as a result of one infected person. If I can get that number to under one, this thing dies out. Compatibility and encounter filters. I don't know what that means, but let's go with it. That's right. The compatibility filter, how likely an individual is to get sick from a disease, uh, do they have immunity or a genetic predisposition of some kind? The encounter filter, uh, how quickly does a disease move from one host to another? How long can it survive outside the body? In this case, we have a particularly hardy, aggressive bacteria which nobody is safe from. I know enough, I think. Of course. Let's return to the group. Good luck. Thank you. Gabriel and Mark got on well. Too well, possibly. Noted. We're back, Admiral. Excellent. Gabriel, I'm going to head back to my own private vessel. Security Officer Tang will be putting a plan in place to transport you to our secure facility in Egypt, where you can continue this conversation with our investigatory team. This is ridiculous. We have in Gabriel a fantastic opportunity to learn to share our research. That seems optimistic. A useful instinct in the current climate. Everyone here will die without my help, Admiral. And then who will you command? Like it your attention? I beg your pardon? <laughs> I think it did. No need to beg. I need you to listen. What the hell got into you? What did you two talk about privately? Nothing of note. Gabriel had questions about the situation here. I gave the information requested. That was all. I see. The stakes got more serious, I suppose. All right. Two against one. All right, Gabriel. You got your 15 minutes. What do you have to say? I want to say what I came here to say. Oh, what? Starts a whole new thing. Okay. Um, that is the start of a new chapter, so I think I'm going to end it here as soon as I can. Save exit. Yeah, there we go. So I've just completed triage. Just about to start at number four. I wanted to stop there. 
right before we actually really got going with number four, because um, if you've seen my playthrough of the subsurface circular, you're probably familiar with this. There's this button here on the main menu for streamers slash YouTubers, uh, basically talking about how they're worried about spoilers. Uh, as it says here, character reveals, plot twists, and big choices are all present and all designed to be experienced for the first time in an interactive context. That goes on to ask, please only share the first three sequences, and if you go further, ensure you include a warning of spoilers for the audience. So I talked about this in the other series as well, but I'll just kind of reiterate it here. That is something I always worry about is like, am I by especially for very story focused games that are very linear, which this isn't exactly it is story focused, but apparently there's a lot of diverging paths, a lot of different avenues that you can take. So one playthrough will probably be significantly different from another, but it is still fairly story focused and a lot of things certainly can be spoiled, unlike like with a, a roguelike game or something like that, where you don't really have to worry about spoilers for the most part. For this sort of game, I do always wonder a little bit if by making a playthrough of it, I'm uh, perhaps maybe taking money away from a developer. You know, people might watch the video instead of buying the game, possibly. But my thinking is usually that if you want to play it, you probably will play it rather than watch a video, or you might play it in addition to watching a video. So I just like leaving that up to your own, you know, sense of what you want to do. But this is your official spoiler warning. We're definitely going to get into some uh, some serious spoilers when it comes to secrets being revealed and things like that. If you'd like to play this game for yourself, there is, as always, a link at the description of every single episode where you can grab it for yourself. I can tell you the past game, Subsurface Circular, was really good. This one is really good so far, so I have no doubt it's good and probably worth your money. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we will begin consultation 